Yes, yes. Yes. Ni 
kera no kumbenda ai lo ni samoni pe ubisi wite kweka ndaka kera ni mondo kwenda msie na ilo kuna simu aka si msie na simu akwa yini public simu mambo de yesu ndiye zeze ba moya simu no wa so ai mondo kuna no zani eh eh ka Mimi nime, nime, nime kuwa hapa kutoka asubuhi Mweshimu wa Douglas alishikwa jana Tukakuja ku, hapa kotini kuangalia nini naendelea uh, Kutoka asubuhi wa watu wa, wa inspectorate Wamekuwa wakitembea mahali hapa Na kila mahali wakitembea huku juu na juu na juu Wamekuwa kijaribu kunishika Na wakua, wana, Wamekuja Sasa mmoja ndiyo akakuja hapa anajifanya tuko hapa kwa court tukingojea kusikiza kesi ya mheshimiwa Douglas ikashikwa na watu wengine wakiliweka kwa gari ya private hiyo kubwa yao ikakuja wakanishika then imuuza sasa <laughs> sijui kama imvunjika ama ni nini wakaniweka chini ya gari karibu anikanyage <laughs> ah <laughs> so mimi sielewi nini naendelea wamerarua nguo unaona hata sina nguo <laughs> Wanasema wamepatiwa orders wanishike na governor wa Vinya. Sababu ya hii maneno ya tumekuwa tukitetea wananchi tukisema serikali ya governor ifanye kazi na shida yangu ni kama hao watu wanaweza kuja kushikia mtu kwa court na washikie mtu kwa kwa public na hajafanya chochote. Wanakutoa mpaka nguo. Wananitoa mpaka nguo mbele ya hadharani. Ni aibu sana. Na ni shida sana. Na nashangaa sana na Sijui ni sema nini. Kuanzia jana kama mlivyosikia kuna operation hata ilifanyika kimutwa ya kushika baadhi ya watu ambao leo wanaletwa kwa court. Na masingizio yao imekuwa ni plan. Jana walishika mheshimiwa Douglas wa Masi. Juzi walishika mheshimiwa Ngonga. Ako na active ako hapa akizingiziwa ajalipa ma, mambo ya leseni. Na mimi nikawaambia juzi mimi sifanyi biashara. Na leo asubuhi wakakuwa uh, kutoka tulipokuja hapa wakakuwa tu wanazunguka hapa na hapa na hapa. Ile sababu kubwa naona hizi ni vita za kisiasa. Kujaribu kunyamazisha hata wao wenyewe ukiwauliza mnashikia mtu nini? Sababu mimi hakuna mahali wananipata nikijenga, niko hapa kanju, niko hapa kwa court kusikiza kesi, tuko kwa eh, court sijui wanataka kunishika wanipeleke wapi. Sababu hajanipata sina duka na operate sina chochote ninachofanya na ile shida kubwa nashindwa ni kama wanaweza chukua mtu hata wamka karibu hata hii mguu anivunje na gari sielewi kabisa no 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 you know this is this of course you have, you have always known unajua hizi vitu nikuwa tuko kotini tumekuja na kesi ya mheshimiwa Douglas ambaye jana mliona ameshikwa kinyama ki, kama vile mheshimiwa hapa ameshikwa so we are come to here is matter and we are just about to get into court ndio tukaona eh, mheshimiwa Mike amezingirwa na I don't know county or inspector officers eh, na wengine and then nakumbuka walikuwa wamekuja wakaka magari zao strategically mm -hmm. then all of us and forced to unajua tujui nini so along the way out of that million you know mheshimiwa Mike hata mpaka wametoa nguo kila kitu kila kitu yeye ni mwenyewe umekuwa hapa so then mheshimiwa Mike unashimbwa askari wamejaa hapa hii ni court mama justice wako hapa and then this is taking place here in the full glare of the public jewel I cannot tell what it is. This will be the utmost of stupidity. I will just call it inu jinga oligarchy. Hata wakati tunyaka tunazosema the dark ages. This has never been witnessed in this country. This is the least we expect of any any civilized institution. Mostly tuko kotini. Na what it is actually it is actually illegal hata askari hazi kushikia hapa kotini. Ukitoka hapa kama askari hata unashikwa unashikwa nje ya court. But they come to unaona public one they want to break into the public to come and rescue. I just want to say this is we cannot even it's an actual unbelievable. I cannot even believe it myself. Hii maneno ilianza na mimi. Imekuja kwa huyu. Imekuja kwa wengine. Wacha iendelee. Wacha iendelee. It is okay. But let me tell you hata wakivunja mheshimiwa Mike, hawachukua wewe. Mike wengine wataamka. Na wataamka kwa wengi na watakuwa watakuwa pia watakuwa na nguvu zaidi kuliko Mike. This is very unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. But we tutaenda mpaka mwisho. Sasa sasa kuna shida. Wameenda watakuja na watakuja tupate. I don't know why they had to wait for him wakot. So anga mshika na tumekuwa kule nje. Hakuna mtu anaogopa kushikwa. So long as una makosa unashikwa, unaenda mbele ya koti. Na ukienda mbele ya koti unajibu mashtaka yako. Sasa what is the problem? Kwani hapa kuna mtu akaona nje yake? 
chui ali Kenya imekuwa kama namna kama mwanaweza taendea mheshimiwa mzima kama huyu je je tena kotini je mwananchi mimi anatoa nguo mpaka mnaona ina wea ina wea mheshimiwa je nyinyi wananchi yenu itakuwa namna gani nyinyi wacheni sisi wenyewe tutateseka yenu itakuja it is time now everybody now wakes up kila mtu aamke na mjue what kind of a government we having here nyinyi mnaweza ona it is not about business any longer it is not about license mnadanganywa mheshimiwa Douglas hapa anaambiwa pale kwa anaambiwa Douglas hapa kwa kiasi alikuwa anajenga hana magadasi magadasi hapa tumeleta kotini wanataka tufanye namna gani mimi walikuwa ananiambia sina business permit nimeleta hapa zote nimeleta what else wanataka tufanye nini what do they want us to do ati tufanye to to nyamaze na mdomo kazi yake ni nini kazi ya mdomo ni nini si ngula na kuongea hala tutaongea mpaka mwisho kwa majina anaitwa Douglas Musyoka, mimi ni MCA aliyechaguliwa wodi ya Masi katika kaunti ya Machakos. E, leo nimekuwa kotini kuja kujibu mashtaka. Nimeshikwa jana katika nyumba yangu na nikaambiwa nilijenga boma yangu yenye naishi kama sina zile authority za county government. Nimekuja nazo kotini na muda mchache tu kabla koti iketi nikiwa hapa nje ya koti na wawakili zangu Nimeona waheshimiwa wenzangu wamekuja mheshimiwa wa Mua amekuwa hapa mheshimiwa wa Mudhedhene nimekuwa naye hapa mheshimiwa wa Kivaa na mheshimiwa wa Kalama na ile wakati ambao tumesimama tukijadiliana nje ya koti goja keti iketi ndio nimeona hao ofisa wa county na gari nyingine ikuja imebeba guns wenye wana uniform na hata mimi siwatambui so wakakuja huyo ofisa mmoja wa county ndio wakuja akashika mheshimiwa wa, wa Kalama mateka na akamwambia wewe ndio tunataka saa hizi unaanza wakajaribu waweza kumvuruta Niweza tumevurutana kidogo wapata kuna mshike mshike wakamchapa sana mheshimiwa mpaka amekanyangwa mguu na gari ya county government akijaribu kufinywa ingizo kwa gari cha lazima lakini tumekataa na ye, ila mheshimiwa ameumia na wakati huu tunapoongea amepelekwa katika kituo cha police cha Chakos police station ndio aandikiwe na aende aweze kwenda hospitali hii maneno tu inaendelea ni ile mheshimiwa wanaongea na ile kitu mimi naweza sema ni kumomba tu governor wa vinya ile maneno sisi tunainua sauti ni ile maneno iko valid na ile yenye iko genuine jana umeona umeona barua zimetambaa kila mahali kwamba ICU yetu katika Machakos level 5 imefungwa na imefungwa kwa sababu ya kukosekana kwa zile zile be, 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 vitu mufti zenye zinatumika katika matibabu pale ICU na ukiuliza wale maofisa wa hospitali pale wanasema wameambiwa hakuna pesa yote ambayo inaweza ku maintain ICU size Kuulizia tunaambiwa pesa ilichukuliwa 40 million kutoka kwa hazina ya hospitali ikatumika kwa vitu ambazo hata hatujui ni nini. So ndio tunauliza tu awajibike afanye kazi yake na kila mtu afanye kazi yake. Kazi ya MCA ni kufanya kitu inaitwa oversight. Na hizi ndio macho ya wananchi. Na tutakoma tutaongea na tutazidi kuongea. Ndio kila mwananchi wa Machakos ajue nini inaendelea hapa. Asanteni.